So give me a case study. Tell me somewhere where someone has put this tool in place where you could now see based on the results that you got and now their, their return on the investment that they've had has seen that there's been a measurable increase in their performance. Mm. Give me a couple of examples of where this has worked. Okay. Let's take ANZ Bank. When John McFarlane overtook ANZ Bank, uh, he recognised that the bank, like others, was very transactional with its customer base and almost transactional culturally internally. So they decided to do a cultural transformation of the bank. It was called the Breakout Program. It was all about becoming more human on the inside so that that's the way we'd be with our customers on the outside. Very much built around kind of emotional intelligence development and principles, if mm. you like. It's become more human on the inside. Doubled the share price in the first 18 months, when one bank of the year for seven or eight years in a mm. row. I can't remember exactly mm. now. Um, let me take another example, Coles before mm -hmm. it was bought out by West Farmers, um, uh, you know, decided to do shared services in the back end of the organisation. So you got multi-brand strategy, right? Um, they recognised in one of those areas when they were coming to shared services that the wheels were off the wagon. Um, there was a lot of disagreement in which way was the best way to do things. It was a major change project. Um, one of the things about change is it often causes uncertainty and uncertainty causes sabotage, procrastination, mm. blame cultures, mm. a lack of ownership for and attention on results, or those sorts of things. So we brought emotional intelligence in there really to help managers understand the resistance to change, why people naturally have those responses to change, and how to build positive emotions in a change environment. Mm. Um, got the wheels back on the wagon, doubled employee engagement, got a large change project back on track, on time mm. and on budget, uh, and delivered it exceptionally. And I think emotional intelligence is really, you know, you can do anything from a cultural transformation mm. with it to, and it wasn't the be-all and end-all, but to assisting a major corporate mm. transformational change project through to, you know, at Sanofi, um, we uh, developed the emotional intelligence of sales managers and mm. sales reps and improve revenue by 13%. Mm. And you know, I'll never forget how I think we won that tender to do that particular project. It sort of went like this, you know, sat down, oh, okay, they wanted to do something around emotional intelligence and sales. And I said, what about a personal transformation that has nothing to do about sales mm. and everything to do with just self-awareness, yep. empathy, yep. being more resilient. Um, yeah, improved revenue by about 13%. Mm. Now, that might sound not, m might not sound like much, but it returns six dollars for every dollar they wow. spend on the program. Wow.